But I want to go through three ways that you will know if you are losing muscle. <sighs> What's going on YouTube, it's Jason, and welcome to week number 20 of Razor Sharp. If you're someone who's trying to lose body fat and you're starting to feel smaller and your clothes are starting to feel baggy, then this video is for you. I wanna go through everything you need to know, things you need to be aware of, and things you need to avoid to keep as much muscle as possible. But first, it's Monday, let's go and get weighed. So, Monday morning weigh-in is... 83.4, so 0.6 down from last week. I'm aiming to be 82 on the nose or just under late 81s in a couple of weeks time because that would be exactly seven weeks out from my show. Let's do a quick flex physique update. All good, shaping up, let's measure my waist. So still 30.75, again in the next couple of weeks, I want to be 30.5 or less. Let's see how we go, let's get on with the week. Am I losing muscle on a cut? Now this is a question I get asked every week and especially for guys, they start panicking when they think they're losing muscle. I feel smaller, I'm shrinking. I literally get this multiple times per week. But I wanna go through three ways that you will know if you are losing muscle. And then I wanna go on to what actually happens in most cases. So if you are truly losing muscle, this is not just, I have a little bit more space in my top. That is a vanity metric. Number one, you will lose weight a lot faster than normal. I'm not talking here about like 0.3 of a kilo, half a kilo, even up to a kilo. I'm saying more than 1% of your body weight per week regularly. Like if you are 100 kilos and you are losing two kilos per week, you can be pretty sure that you are losing muscle. In the first week, you are going to lose a little bit more. That's expected because of water and glycogen and all of that. If you are continually losing a large amount of weight, you are losing muscle. Number two, if you are losing muscle, there has to be a decreased performance with that. If you build muscle, you will be lifting more. If you lose muscle, you will therefore be lifting less. If your weight training is the same, you know, you might lose one or two reps here and there. Maybe you aim for 10 and you're only getting eight. Different story. But if you're lifting 100 kilos and suddenly 80 is feeling really tough, not just in a one-off session, but like continually week to week, you are almost certainly losing muscle. And number three, if you are under doing protein. So people normally give the guides, and I've said it before in videos, 1.6 grams to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is a safe range to aim for when you are consuming protein. You know, a lot of people say this stuff, you say, do you get much protein in? They go, yeah, I have loads of protein. I had one boiled egg for lunch and I had a chicken thigh for dinner. Okay, that's like 30 grams of protein. What about the rest? You know, if you're going at your protein like that, there's a very high risk you're losing muscle. If you're not doing any of those three calamities or you're not experiencing any of those three problems, it's not muscle you're losing. I'm gonna be real and tell you probably what's happening. Number one, you think you have more muscle than you have. And so a lot of people don't realize this. When you wear a t-shirt or a jacket and you fill it out, if you are not lean, some of that filling out is fat. So if you even look at my top here, there is now space in this top, right? If I gain 10 kilos now of pure fat, my arm would be bigger, right? So if I wore a jumper or a blazer, I would look bigger. And so when I suddenly now have space in that top, if I didn't know better, I'd be like, oh, I'm losing muscle, I'm shrinking. No, you are not shrinking. You just don't have as much muscle as you thought. And some of that size in your top was actually body fat. And that brings me on to point number two, but you're probably carrying more body fat than you think as well. A lot of people underestimate how much body fat they have, 
in my experience, by like five to 10%. You meet someone at the gym, they can't see their abs, and they'll say something like, um, I reckon I'm about 15 to 20% body fat. Nah, pal, you're looking a lot more like 30 to 35%, to be honest, respectfully. So if this person then goes to lose five or 10% body fat, thinking they're 20, but they're actually 30, 35, when they get down to 20%, they won't see their abs and they will think, oh, I'm now 10% body fat. I can't see my abs, that's strange. Maybe it's just my genetics. They will look at their arms and be like, I'm 10% body fat and look at the space in my top. I must have lost muscle, oh my gosh. And they go back on the bulk and try and gain it all again. It's not that, it's just that you carry more body fat than you think. If you lost enough body fat and kept going, you will realize that you are carrying more body fat than you think, but most people stop at the same point each time. And that is another big mistake. And point number three as to why you probably aren't losing muscle is that if you are trying to lose body fat, you would have to reduce your calories. When you reduce your calories, most people would take some of those calories from their carbs. If you were consuming 300 grams of carbs when you were bulking, and you are now consuming only 150 or 200 grams of carbs, you are going to have less muscle glycogen. When you eat carbs, they are stored in your muscles as glycogen. So when you are eating a lot of carbs, your muscles look fuller. That glycogen will also attract water, which will add to that fullness. When you eat less carbs, you have less glycogen in your muscles, and you also hold on to less water in your muscles because carbs attract water. And therefore, the physical size of your muscles would shrink. But you haven't lost muscle. Like that returns immediately once you increase your carbs. And matter of fact, I experienced this after my bodybuilding show. I got down to probably somewhere between nine and 10% body fat for my first show. And I increased my carbohydrates the day after competition and at the same weight, I literally had like a mind blowing pump. I was so full because I now had lost all the body fat and the flat look from my muscles because I was depleted of carbs came back almost overnight. So that's when I was like, well, my strength hasn't gone down. I am not losing muscle. And this is actually scientific. So if you satisfied those three things in 99% of cases, you are not losing muscle and you've just misjudged how much muscle you have and also how much body fat you have. It's that simple. See the cables to start. Red up pools. So since I've taken a break from incline presses, I've started doing front raises again. Normally, if you're doing incline presses, there's no real need to do front raises separately because they get worked so much on the incline. I've chosen cable front raises because I find that it allows me to have stricter form and not swing so much. Whenever I get into the business end of a shred, I always do interval training three times a week. It literally is the difference. If I can get my steps up, keep my weight training good, and my calories dialed in, I find that interval training really shreds me up. So this is my third session of the week. I haven't really been doing it consistently before this because I've been kind of gradually coming down, but 
as we get towards week 20 of tracking my calories it is go time on interval training So interval training done, my step count is not where it should be. So I'm gonna stay on the treadmill and get some extra steps in. Today, I want nothing less than 17 and a half K. I've been shooting for 17 and a half K averages this week. And so we shall not surrender. Probably stay on the treadmill for another 30, 30 to 40 minutes. Let's see how we go. Steps in the bag, let's get out of here. So that is everything. In terms of my step count for the week, I was aiming for 17 and a half K. I was pretty much there on Saturday night, but yesterday's step count was so poor, like inexcusable, under 5K, which for me is just unheard of. And so, yeah, next week, I'm gonna be aiming for 20K min. I'm not gonna just let it go. We have to add it on to next week's averages. In terms of my posting time, apologies I didn't post yesterday. I thought as today was a bank holiday in the UK, more people might watch this video anyway as they're all off work and kind of recovering from yesterday's antics. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel to follow me on this journey and I'll see you again soon.